the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And for this video, we are going to help this noob reach max level using dough fruit. Just a reminder, this is a two-part special. So this is part one. So for our part one, we will reach second C using dough fruit. So I think that will most likely be level one to 1,500. Okay? But before that, shout out to this dude who recognized me in the public server, even though I'm using a different account, GamerNob. Is that you? Shout out to Mariuel, Mariuel123456.7. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it for all the support. Moving on, guys. Here we are. Before we even use this skill, we're gonna do this I am Snake quest first. So, in this quest, we need to find three chickens. The locations on top of this terrace, the manor next stop, the market, the gacha. There you go. The last one is located in the black market, okay, near the cashier, okay, the counter. So there you go guys, you can do this until you reach level 10. Or, or guys, you can be like this dude, OG underscore James, doing the soldier quest. Again, you can do this quest at level 0 or level 1. So we're gonna try it too, okay? So here you go. Level 1, sorry, it's at level 0. You're gonna need to defeat uh, 5, right? So you can do 4, use your first skill, there you go. And that's it, guys. So when you reach level 10, you can start defeating the clown pirates. Stat check, we have 40 points, so 4 on the defense, and I will allot almost all of the points in the power fruit. Okay, there you go, you're gonna lure pirates, a clown pirates, and use your first skill, and that would be enough. There you go, but if you're lazy like me, you're just gonna do this. The no lure strat, Z skill, Z skill, Z skill until you finish your quest. I think that's enough. The goal here is to reach level 20. When you're level 20, you can start defeating Smokey. And there are no problems defeating this mob. Just use your Z skill. Make sure to check the distance, okay? okay? You need to use it like three times, I guess. There you go. Three times. Your goal here is to reach level 30. Just keep on using your Z skill. Z skill. Dodge. There you go. Okay, so by this level, I think we already have like, yeah, more than 100 power fruit. So we've unlocked our second skill, the Heat Shot. We're gonna try it on our next mob, Pashi level 30. Here, you can use your X skill, new skill, heat shot, and your first skill, the flexible punch. Okay, so we're gonna level up here until we reach level 50. Guys, when you reach this level at 44, you can one hit him with the heat shot. So, no problems with that. Again, at level 50, we are going to our next island, the pirate island. We're gonna start here again with the clown pirates. So how do you grind here? Very easy, guys. Check this out. 1Z skill. Wait for it to advance. Use your X skill. That's it. Z skill. X skill. Do it 2 times for 1 quest. Okay? Very easy. The goal here is to reach level 75. Okay? 75. And after that, you can now proceed to clown. Here you go. The stats again. For defense, put all your points on your power foot. So for the clown, you're just gonna use your X skill. And one Z skill, flexible punch, and that's it. Gamer no, why don't we put on the defense? Melee. Guys, we're not gonna do PvP, right? We're just here to grind first, okay? Focus on grinding. The goal here is to reach level 120. Don't worry, guys. Every clown kill is still equivalent to one level. So Soldier Island, we're gonna start with the captain, but first, don't forget to buy your soul. So, again, captain, level 120. Just use your X skill and Z skill. Okay, that's it. Goal here is to reach level 145. Again, 145. There you go. And after that, wait. You've already unlocked two more skills, right? The dose spin, our third skill. Wait, let's put some stats first. There you go. The liquid drops. So those spin is usually used for grind. Oh no, sorry, for luring. There you go. Do you see that? You can damage your enemy using it. And transportation for the liquid drops it's a stun skill so there you go for PvP mostly so here we go 145 axe hand you can use your X skill and Z skill and that's enough gamer of is there a faster way to do it yes there is to level up in this place so how do you do it just use your X and Z here get the captain quest X and Z and go back to the axe hand and after that go back to the captain 
we're gonna level up here until we reach level 200. And after that, we will go to the next island. Wait, gamer, no, you skipped a quest again? Yes, we're gonna skip a quest. We're gonna go straight to the Karate Fishman. So, is it hard to defeat? No. X and Z skill will do the work. There you go. The so goal here is to reach level 230. Okay, level 230. And after that, you're gonna go to this next quest, the Shark Man. So again, you can use your X and Z skill. Again, the points, the stat points will be allotted on the power fruit. Question Gamer Gnome, are we going to level up here until we reach level 350? Yes. Again, guys, 350. Check this out. Every kill is one level up and the spawn time of this boss is short. So every time you kill him, get the quest. And after your skills has cooled down, there you go, he will spawn. Very easy, right? Again, goal level is 350. Trust me on this. When you reach level 350, we have enough money to go to Bubble Island. Why Bubble Island Gamer Nub? We're gonna buy Buso Haki. So I made an exception for this fruit because this Haki increases the damage of your fruit. So we're gonna buy it. There you go, 500k. Okay, so our observation Haki will be delayed. Okay, next is the chef ship we're gonna start with the weapon man you just use your v skill activate your hockey and that's enough but not like the shark man the spawn time is kind of long so how do you make it faster kill it there you go get the quest for the black leg defeat it go back to the weapon man and defeat him too using your v skill and that's it guys goal here is to reach level 450 but but i think i made the mistake here you should have stayed in the chef ship until you reach level 500. I'm telling you guys. Why? I'm gonna show you. In the snow island, you can start here with the 400, right? But we skipped that. We started with the king snow. 450, guys. Every time you defeat it, level up. Yeah, it's fast. You just need to defeat it 50 times. But the spawn time of this uh, mob is kind of slow, to be honest. So I suggest you stay in the chef ship until you reach 500. Why 500 gamer no? Because when you reach level 500, you can start defeating the heavy man. So, so is it faster? Yes, because you have two mobs to defeat. So first is the heavy man, right? Heavy man. Okay, there you got 500 again. After you defeat him, use your E skill, the dose spin. There you go. You defeated him. To go to the king of snow, king snow. Then use your skills to defeat him, and then go back using your dose spin. There you go, right? This will be a lot faster. There you go, and by this time, we've unlocked all the skills. Check this out, defense. Four, and I've allotted all in the power fruit. Okay? Again, gamer no. why are there no defense? Guys, we're not gonna do PvP, okay? We're just here to grind. Maybe let's think about PvP after we've reached max level. By the way, by this time, we've unlocked the last skill, the Sharpen Spike. The damage of this is so high, guys, but the range is not that good, so it depends on how you use it. So again, we're gonna level up here until we reach level 625. And after that, we can now proceed to our next island, which is the Desert Island. There we go, okay. So before we start, stat check. Four on the defense. Put all the stats on the power fruit, but guys, I've been saving 300 points for the melee just in case we cannot climb the Sky Island because Sky Island is next, right? So in this island, we're gonna start with the bomb ban. There you go, just use your V skill or your other skills. To make things faster, you can go to the candle man. Yes, at 525, yeah, we skip this. But in a way, we're good. we want to defeat two mobs simultaneously to make things faster. Okay, that's our pattern of uh, grinding. Again, Candleman, Bombman, Candleman, Bombman. So the goal here is to reach level 725. When you reach level 725, you can start defeating the King of Sand. We're done with the snow, now with the sand. So just use your V skill here, that's enough. So to make things faster, defeat the King of Sand. And after that, go to the bomb man, defeat him fast. Go. 
and after that, go back to the King of Sand. Okay? The goal here is to reach level 800 again, but if you want, you can stay here. It really depends on you. So here you go, 800. As you can see, you can use your sorrow to go in the cloud and add some 300 stats to the melee for two sky jumps and that would be enough i think yeah that's enough two okay there you go sorry okay so grinding will start here with the sky soldier check this out guys just use your b skill and that's it see that b skill you need to kill four one skill one finish quest guys if you want to stay here until you reach 900 i think it's it's fine guys but what i did is i bought the observation hockey and at 850 i started doing the ballman quest so it depends to you but i think it's better to stay there at 900 so here ballman just use your v skill there you go and after that you can use your b and x skill to finish your second quest with the ballman why because the v skill is still on cooldown at 900 you can start defeating the rumble man so to make things faster again 900 rumble man after that defeat the ballman there you go after you defeat the ball man you can go straight to the rumble man okay the goal here is to reach level 1100 so at 1100 you can now proceed to the bubble island there you go okay so here guys we're gonna start with the leader so we skip some quest the soldier quest here the leader you can use your v uh sorry X skill and V skill, or you can use combos, whatever you want, as long as you defeat him. There you go. So, the goal here is to reach level 1150, and after that, you can now go straight to Pasta. Pasista. Guys, the uh, spawn time of this boss is so short. The moment you kill him, he will spawn almost automatically. So, make sure to cycle your skills to be more efficient. The goal here there is to reach level 1325 and after that you can now go to Lobby Island. So here, why 1325? We're gonna start with the giraffe. After the giraffe, you can go to the wolf. Okay? After the wolf, you can go to the giraffe. That's why we went here at 1325 to start defeating two mobs. So you're gonna do this until you reach level 1400. And after that, we're gonna go to the Leo part. Leo this is the last quest before we reach second C. before we finish this first episode part one okay so there you go when you reach level 1500 you go to make things faster you can defeat leo and giraffe simultaneously there you go okay so at 1500 you can go to war island talk to the traveler get the map quest go to the fish land Guys, you can defeat any mob here. See that? This is not the Season Fishman. But I was still able to get the map. Okay? So after getting the map, you just need to go back to the War Island. Talk to the Traveler. There you go. We're enjoying it. Finally. <laughs> Guys, it took me like 15 minutes to get the map. Okay? So after you talk to the Traveler, you can now go to the Starting Island. In the starting island, you just need to talk to the elite pirate and he will transfer you to the second sea. And that is part 1 of Noob Level 1 gets Dofru to reach his max level. So guys, do you want us to continue this? Comment it on the comment section because what you feel is really important to me. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.